Hi everyone, it's Ms. Akvari in the library. I wanted to talk to you about the book Raft by S.A. Bodine. This is from our sports and adventure section and this book is definitely an adventure, um, has a lot of survival, um, it's a survival story. And in this book, the main character, her name is Roby, that is actually her on the cover. Um, Roby lives with her parents on Midway Island, which is out in the middle of the Pacific between Asia and Hawaii. Her parents are researchers and so uh, Roby has kind of a lonely life on this very small um, island out in the middle of nowhere. She has gone to Hawaii to visit her aunt, has spent some time there, and decides kind of on the spur of the moment that she's had enough of Hawaii um, she's ready to see her parents again, and instead of waiting for her scheduled flight, um, she jumps on a cargo plane um, without telling anyone. And as she starts to go home on this cargo plane, turbulence is really awful, the weather is really terrible, and this starts to happen. Ten minutes later, although I wouldn't have believed it possible, the turbulence got worse. Now, it felt as if we were in a snow globe that someone just shook and shook and shook. The lurching turned into deep plunges that made me feel like we were nosediving before we finally came back up, all the while bumping. One huge thump sent all the oxygen masks tumbling down where they swayed from side to side. Mine swung right in front of my face. Oh my God, was I supposed to put it on? A glance up front showed neither Larry nor Max had donned a mask. I couldn't very well ignore mine, so I tied a big loop in it just to get the thing out of my face. Another huge thump popped open a few of the overhead bins. All of a sudden, a quick barrage of soft but forceful punches pummeled my head and shoulders, but the assault was over before I could even shriek or fend them off. Oranges from the bin over my head. One landed in my lap, and others lay all around me, rolling up and down the aisle with every shift of the plane. I wanted to scream, but held it in. Panicking wouldn't help anyone, especially not the pilots. Again, I tried to see what they were doing, their demeanor, their attitude. Were they worried? Struggling with the controls? It was impossible to tell from my vantage point. I felt an overwhelming need for reassurance, for someone to tell me everything would be okay, that I would be okay. But no one did. As we bounced around, tears started sliding down my face. I stopped myself and wiped my eyes with the back of my hand. You baby. There was no need to cry over a little turbulence. Tons of things were worse than this. And then there was a hush. Not totally quiet, but there was just less of a drone than there had been. I leaned over, peered out the window at the starboard engine. At the end of the wing, a blue light winked. Usually, the propellers were nearly invisible in flight because they were turning so rapidly, but as lightning flashed, I could very clearly see the propeller circling slowly, turning only with the movement of the plane. That engine had stopped. So, as you might have guessed from that excerpt that I read, Roby's plane crashes into the Pacific Ocean. And this all happens within the first probably 10 to 15 pages of the book. The rest of the book is how Roby survives um, out in the middle of nowhere. She's on a raft. All she has to eat are Skittles. She doesn't have any drinking water. And both only one of the pilots has made it onto the raft. It's a fascinating story. It's really fast paced. Um, the chapters are pretty short. In fact, one chapter only has two words to it. Um, so it pulls you through the story very quickly. And I love books like that. I love the suspense of not knowing what's gonna happen next to the characters. So if you like uh, books with lots of action and adventure and a survival theme, The Raft might be a great book for you to read.